wasn't there. So I just have some questions for you Please. about the appraisal process. And um, some of the uh, comments in the testimony were made on some of the um, <clears throat> the intangible assets of the mountain. And I know that it's often difficult to apply a, a tangible or monetary value to tangible assets. But can you, um, if you, if you spend any time on that or look at it in, in that realm, let me try to answer that. that. And uh, I would certainly invite further questions as soon as I, uh, uh, based on what I say. The, uh, the criteria for value is market value. <coughs> My name is James Alstrom. Uh, I'm the one that offered the uh, opinion that was uh, presented to the board last time we were here. The, uh, the criteria of market value, market is an economic term. It assumes multiple buyers, multiple sellers, etc., etc. Uh, we have an asset here that is very unique. It certainly doesn't have uh, one in terms of economics and economic benefit, which is the market value criteria. It doesn't necessarily speak to the value of the land or the land to certain uh, peoples, uh, people who are willing to express their opinions in dollars uh, form the market value criteria. That is not to say that other people uh, don't see value, but it's not in economic terms. And I certainly respect that. Um, the, the mountain, as I look at it, exists in its natural <coughs> pristine state. Uh, and trying to come up with an estimate of market value would be incredibly difficult because there is no market. Uh, it's preservation zone land. There's no economic uses other than the use that we're now considering to be used for it. So we may be, in terms of trying to figure out what is substantial, because if we valued on the basis of highest and best use in zoning, the number would be minuscule, I mean just nominal. So market value, if, I understand a, uh, an appraisal is not required, but if one were typically put out under a DLNR uh, for, the, for the use potentials that exist, for the zoning that exists, for the access that exists, and for the infrastructure that doesn't exist, uh, the number is going to come back uh, at a fraction of, of what the contract number is, unless there's special instructions or criteria to the appraiser. I, I hope that addresses your question. It does. It does. Yes, further questions? Okay, thank you.